over to my friend's house? Uh, ask your mom. No, don't make me ask mom. She's gonna say no. Well, looks like you already knew the answer. Please, dad. Sorry. How about if you fail this riddle, you have to take me. No, I'm not playing your little game. Why? Are you not smart enough? What? No. Fine. What's the riddle? Okay, repeat after me. Red? Red. Blue? Blue. Yellow? Yellow. What color is grass? Green. I said repeat after me. No! So what's your secret power? I can guess how many pulls it takes to turn off a ceiling fan on the first try. For example, this one, three pulls. <laughs> I mean, that's cool and all, but it's not really a superpower. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding. I can heal paraplegics. <laughs> Doctor, I can't sleep at night. I keep seeing donkeys playing soccer. All right, I'm gonna give you some medicine and I want you to start using it tonight, okay? Perfect, but can I start tomorrow? Um, why tomorrow? Because tonight is the finals. <laughs> I'm surprised you wanted to hang out with me and not your girlfriend. Oh, we broke up. Oh, really? What happened? Well, I caught her texting other guys. Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Speak of the devil. Here she is. Hello? Hey, are you at work right now? No, I'm just at my friend's house. Well, I just finished work. And my brother was supposed to pick me up, but he just told me he can't anymore. Is there any chance you could come get me? Okay, hold on one sec. Let me just go to my car. No, 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 no. Don't fall for it, bro. Okay, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. You won't believe this. What is it? I just looked all over my car, and nowhere on it does it say taxi. No! <gasps> What do we have here? Thank you so much, young boy. Now for freeing me from the lamp, I shall grant you one wish. Ah, uh, I won't do it, genie. Because surely whatever I wish for will come back and bite me in the butt. No, 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 no. I don't work that way. If that were to happen, I'll grant you unlimited wishes. Okay. Then I'll wish for a boomerang with teeth. No! Is it possible to speak to someone who can tell me how a patient is doing? I can help you, sir. What's the patient's name and room number? The name is Albert Jacobs in room 604. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly place you on hold while I check in with the nurse. I have some really good news for you, sir. The nurse just said that Albert's blood pressure is fine, his blood work came back as normal, and he's scheduled to be discharged on Tuesday. Thank you so much. That's great news. I was so worried. You're more than welcome. Is Albert your son? No, I'm Albert Jacobs. No one tells me crap. I don't like nothing about that. Look at these tracks, guys. It looks like deer tracks. You're so dumb. Those are clearly rabbit tracks. You guys are both morons. Those are bear tracks. I wonder what those girls are arguing about. Girls! Get off the tracks! Huh? Ah, oh, shoot. I locked my keys in the car. Hmm. Why don't we use a coat hanger to slide the lock open? Hmm. No. People will think we're trying to steal the car. True. Oh, I have a pair of scissors. We could cut around the rubber then stick our finger in and pull up on the lock. Ah, uh, no. Then people would think we're too stupid to use a coat hanger. Ah, uh, well we better think of something fast because it's starting to rain and the car windows are down. <laughs> After reading your updated file, it looks like I'm gonna have to move you. Okay, uh, may I ask where we're going? You're being transferred to the West Wing. Oh, what's in the West Wing? The morgue. 
Wh what? Why? I'm not dead yet. Yeah, but it's a long hallway. <laughs> I've got good news and I've got bad news. Tell me the bad news, Doc. I can take it. In order to save your life, we're gonna have to amputate both of your legs. <gasps> My legs! No! <laughs> what could possibly be the good news after that? Well, you see that guy over there in the next bed? He wants to buy your slippers. <gasps> Honey, that's it. I'm giving up golf. My eyesight's so weak, I can't even see where the ball goes. Why don't you take my grandpa with you and give it one more try? That's no good. Your grandpa's 85. He can't help. He may be 85, but his eyesight is perfect. Did you see where it went? Of course I did. I have perfect eyesight. Where did it go then? Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> so you're 110 years old. Can you please tell me your secret to living so long? Was it maybe your diet? exercising, perhaps abstaining from something? Please, tell me. Mm, not really. I never cared for such things. I never did anything special. So then, what's the secret? Keeping my nerves safe. I've never once argued with a single person in my entire life. What? Over a hundred years and you've never once argued with anyone? I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Well, if you say so. No! What are you chewing on, sir? I'm chewing on the cores that you find inside of apples. Oh, are there like some benefits to doing that? Why do you chew on them? Studies show that it promotes intelligence. Oh, really? I've never heard that before. I'd love to try it out. Can I have a few? Sure. I could give you four pieces, but it'll cost eight dollars. Here you go. Thank you. Wait, I just realized something. For eight dollars, I could have bought a whole lot more apples than four. You see? The cores are already working. Mom, Dad, are you guys good at math? I'd say I'm pretty good. <laughs> Don't get me started, son. I was the best in my class. So this should be no problem for you guys. How old are you guys again? You should know this. I'm 35. And I'm 38. Now the question is, if you guys were born six years ago, how old would you guys be? I would be... 29. I would be 32. If you guys were born six years ago, how old would you guys be? I just said, 32. 29. <laughs> <laughs> no! You guys would be six! <laughs> Why do giraffes have long necks? because they have smelly feet? What's black and white and eats like a horse? A zebra. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. What do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? Still no idea. <gasps> Can I get two pairs of underwear, please? Only two pairs of underwear? Yep, I wear one while the other pair is in the wash. Can I get a five pairs of underwear, please? Only five, huh? Yep, one pair for each day of the week, and then on the weekend, I go commando. <laughs> well, you're better than the last guy. Can I get seven pairs of underwear, please? Finally, someone who knows hygiene. I try my best, one for every day of the week, and then I wash them on Sunday. I'd like to get 12 pairs of underwear, please. Jeez, you must be really clean. Yep, that's me. Actually, hold on, let me make sure I counted correctly. January, February, March. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me just go make sure it's okay with my mom, okay? Yeah, bye. Okay. Huh?
I know what I could do. <laughs> Holy! Luke, the doctor's ready to see you now. I just have to grab some bananas for baking. I'll only be two minutes, okay? Okay. I'll just be two minutes. Sure. I know what I could do. Sorry I took so long, Luke. I ran into Stacy. I haven't seen her in years. Good thing I can blast my free time with Block Blast. This game makes time go by so much quicker, and it's free to download on the App Store. <laughs>